everyone, uh, we are here with Jay Buxbaum, Gabe Getter here. Today we have a very special theme. Uh, we are going to uh, taste these wines with and without aeration. There is a scientific, actual reason that when you have more surface of the wine exposed to the air, the aromatics are allowed to escape. These molecules that become airborne are now more airborne and so you can get better aromatics. Uh, there's also consideration that the same process also makes the wine taste differently. What it does first and foremost, and that's why it actually seems at least to taste different, is that it mellows out the tannins that are in the red wine. Uh, those tannins, like, they, they can feel really astringent uh, in the mouth. Uh, and when exposed to the air, uh, those tannins are going to mellow out to soften. Uh, which will make the wine easier to drink and more flavorful. But where is the decanter? What are we going to do to aerate these? Right, that's a great question. So, of course, uh, the decanter is the most efficient and also the fanciest way uh, to do this. I don't know if it's most efficient, certainly the fancy, fancier <laughs> than what we're about Absolutely. to do. But when you're in a rush and also you don't have a decanter, you don't want to buy a decanter that's going to break and that you have to go and toy and make the, uh, and all that, there is a very simple uh, uh, solution here, uh, which costs just a couple of bucks. You can find it online. It's an aerate or pourer. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to start with the whole kind of sauces. 2016, considered an amazing vintage. Hot Candisas is a non-Jewish, non-kosher chateau that is well known for its non-Jewish, non-kosher wine. And this, of course, is a kosher run of exactly the same wine. Yep. And 2016 was a great vintage. Now, this is quite dark. By the way, Jay, all the wines wow. here, 2016, which was an exceptional vintage everywhere, across the board. California, Israel, France. That's incredible. Even though it's young, it's 2016, it's already quite flavorful. I get actually a little bit of black, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, black, almost bitter, slight bitter licorice. Yeah. Now we're gonna do this now. So the aerator is actually sucking in air as you pour the wine, mixes, it mixes the air together with the wine. So it aerates the wine in the right away. Uh, when, you, when, when you pour the wine into the glass. Now, you know, you see wine people, it's, it's not an affectation when you see them going like this. Mm -hmm. The objective of that is to aerate the wine. Yeah. Let's see if there's a difference. Oh, there's, there's, more, there's more softer, mm -hmm. more aromatics yeah. coming out of it. The aromas that were there previously are still there, but they are more prominent. Yeah, a little bit more prominent. And, and actually, uh, to me, a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. Less less black licorice, a little bit more turning to brown licorice, you know, a mm -hmm. sweeter aroma. And what a difference in the mouth. It's more opulent in the mouth, and at the same time, a little bit less astringent. Right, more fruit forward. Yeah, moving to uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from California. Completely different region. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna drink this wine. Amen. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite wines from the vintage. Oh my goodness. But you know what? It, unlike the Hot Can de Sas, it is singular. It's really clearly Cabernet, clearly fruit forward, delicious. Okay. So now we're gonna take the Cab Ranch Cabernet Sauvignon from Sonoma County. You're doing it with the... With the aerator. The aerator, okay. So, here we go. I'm not big on shtick when it comes to serving wine, mm -hmm. but this is one piece of shtick that really works. Yeah. It really fills the mouth. The, the fruit is more accentuated. You know what I call this? After the aerator? Lip smacking good, baby. Oh, Lip yeah. smacking good. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, the Matar CB. Wow, it's black. Oh, yeah. It's black coming out of the bottle. So I that's mean, a blend you know, of Cab and Shiraz, both 44%. Petit Verdo, 6%. Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, sorry, uh, 6%. That combination of Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz or Syrah. Uh, is a, a typical blend from Australia, and that's where Tal Pelter uh, studied winemaking. Ooh, great mm. aromas of 
of licorice and brown licorice and chocolate, you know, deep, mm. dark fruits, um, not bramble and not mm -hmm. raspberry, you, you know, much more darker, deeper, a little mushroom. Well, let's see what it does. And this is also made in a very limited quantity, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the flagship wine of Matar, uh, the CB, Cumulonimbus. Uh, the, the wines at Matar are, are called after, uh, named after uh, clouds. Right. So you have Cumulus, you have Stratus, you have Cumulonimbus. And if I remember correctly, there's only about, uh, I don't know, 600 bottles that are brought to this country? Something like that. It's a very, it's a very small amount. Uh, that's brought in, it's very limited, and uh, you better look for whoa. it. Whoa, automatically you, you get more aroma. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like, whoa. <laughs> Those savory notes from before are even more present now. Leather, you know, it's like, uh, almost like cured now, meat. Now the same thing will happen if you left it open for, you know, a couple of hours, but this way you don't have to. Yeah, this way you, you just to pop wait. the thing yeah. in and you aerate the wine, boom, you're done. Mm. And the fruit too. Yeah. Imagine this wine with like standing rib rolls. But I also find it got softer. Yeah. In you know after the aeration, meaning the tannins weren't as aggressive. Something that you referred to earlier. Mm -hmm. Very good point, and especially pronounced or demonstrated here in this Matar CB. The difference between an aerated wine and a non-aerated wine. It's the same wine, but boy, can it taste differently. I Remember, you don't have to aerate all of your wines, uh, certainly not the white wines uh, for the most part. Uh, it's really for those big, bold, full-bodied, uh, young wines. Uh, those, are the, th those are the wines that usually will uh, require, uh, in their youth, uh, some, uh, some aeration. Well, thank you. Well, Chaim. Well, Chaim.